Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £500 worth of £2 coins. We're hunting through, looking for commemoratives, ones with more than face value, but ideally looking to fill the book. There's a link in the description to the books I use. It is an affiliate link to, over to Amazon, so I do get a bit of kickback if you make a purchase. Uh, we need three Commonwealth Games coins. We need Northern Ireland, Wales and Scotland, having found two Englands. It's been a while since we found one, so you never know. Today could be the day we tick off one of those. And then anything after 2016's Great Fire of London. So a couple of circuits. Britannias that we could potentially find and uh, not that anyone seems to have found any so far but let's get into the bag and see what we get today right then we'll start with bag number one as opposed to any other bag and um, so this is technologies the definitive design on two pound coins up to 2015 um, so there are some lower mint deers, just not low enough that I think they're worth keeping. We've got DNA Double Helix there, our first commemorative. It's a fairly common coin though. You'll find plenty of those. And that's it for the first bag. So there's been a bit of confusion, it seems, in the comments about 2023 circulating coins. Um, so just to reiterate, all that I know is the same as what anyone else knows. I don't have any insider knowledge on this. It's purely from... Uh, what the Royal Mint Experience have said when I've been there, what I've seen on their website, things like that. Um, we seem to be able to expect, oh, hang on, that's a find. One of three Shakespeare £2 coins, this is Shakespeare's histories, fairly common compared to the other two. Um, there's still a smidge over face value because uh, it's a desirable set to complete, but we will also check the age inscription. The hollow crown is the correct age inscription for that, so a nice first over face value find. So. We, we, the only coin we know that has a, that, has got the, the, well, that will be going into circulation and has gone into circulation is the 50p, the new definitive design with that Atlantic salmon on it. We can speculate further from that that all the other denominations have been minted for circulation with the exception so far of the £2 coin. The Trinity House there, another very common coin. So um, I think whilst I and others have been at the Royal Mint experience, we have seen or been told that they have minted all the other denominations. Oh. Brino's achievements, archers at Paddington Station there. Another very common coin. <clears throat> Frog in my throat here. Um, so yeah, uh, they, they seem to have confirmed that they all have, and I think when Grosh and I were there at the start of this year, 2024, they were doing the two pence coins as well, so potentially uh, an exciting coin to find. Right, that's Julie Clark's fifth and final portrait of the Queen. We know that'll be something. Army Centenary, so we've checked for the rotation error already, which isn't on this one. King and Country is the right age inscription, so that's as the coin should appear in circulation and is again very, very common. As is this one, VE Day Anniversary, but we haven't had it today, so it does add some variety to today's finds already. Um, so yes, the, uh, all the other coins, the one pound coin, it was from a press release they made. There was a whole, uh, a whole, um, shot with lots of pound coins and they're dated 2023 um with the new b design but no privy mark which uh, the privy mark was on the uncirculated versions the brilliant uncirculated ones in the collector sets for the year that's another ve day anniversary and there's shakespeare's tragedy is a little bit more rare than the um shakespeare's histories but not the rarest what a piece of work is a man makes that the right edge inscription so we're going to pop that one down the bottom Ooh, threw that one away. The new technologies there. So yes, uh, elements of what's gained circulation and what hasn't, what it hasn't been minted. Now um, I say, oh, another Shakespeare's histories. Hollow crown. Very nice. So yes, I say that. Oh, <laughs> I've got to get to the point in a minute. Right, a wireless transmission. Another common one. Uh, but I, I have said the, the only one we don't think is going to circulation is the £2 coin. That doesn't mean it definitely won't. It just means that there doesn't seem to have been any confirmation that it has been minted. Now, the coins, I think they, they probably were keen to try and get these new coins out into circulation. So where there was availability to mint these coins, and bear in mind, they didn't mint anything else for circulation that year, did they? 2023, other than the um, Coronation 50p. Was there anything else? I don't think so. Um, but not every year they need there is de uh, demand for new coinage to replace uh, older coins. 
another army centenary. King and country, that's all fine. Um, so as much as they would be wanting to add coins into circulation, another VE day anniversary, it doesn't guarantee, the, it seems the Roman doesn't have unilateral control just to mint whatever they want. There is some government involvement with the HMRC and banks and cash centers forecasting uh, the need for more coins over the next 12 months or however far they look forward. Um, so it, it wasn't always a guarantee that we would see them all enter circulation in that first year. Uh, we don't obviously know how long the new definitives will be the definitives for. Uh, it was a long time since they changed before that. There's uh, Charles Dickens there, which is very nice. Um, that's going to be something as well. Another Shakespeare's Tragedies. What a piece of work is a man. We have in the past found one of these with the wrong, wrong edge inscription, which is a very cool coin to find. But uh, sadly have found none since, which goes to show that they could be quite scarce. Um, but we always check because you never know what might turn up. <laughs> and that hand for absolutely nothing. Right, should we do an edge hunt? Before we circle back to this definitive new definitive 50p. Right, we can do this because two pound coins have edge inscriptions. They're unique to the designs. If it says standing on the shoulders of giants, we know that will be a definitive technology. But this one says into one kingdom, which will be the act of union. We'll check for the rotation error, which I'm advised is out there, but unfortunately not on that coin. I think the rest were all just technologies, but just in case I have missed something or misread something, we'll flip through. Thankfully not that time. So, new definitive Atlantic Salmon 50p. I know I've talked about this a few times in the past, and there seems to be some real confusion about how rare this coin is going to be. Um, because it seems to have come out that the number floating around was half a million. Now, I was told when I went to the Raw Mint uh, for a tour, I forget what it was, it was after they'd announced the new definitive coins and was told that uh, they want to mint as many of them as possible, but some of them might end up with low mintages and therefore being rare, scarce, potentially valuable. Another Shakespeare's Tragedies, Piece of Work as a Man, that's fine. And another VE Day Anniversary, very common. Brunel's Achievements, Arch the Pan Station, we're having a bit of a run with this bag, aren't we? My goodness. And Gunpowder Plot, Guy Fawkes, again, fairly common coin. Um, so yes, the, the number seemed to be floating around that it was half a million. Uh, now, I couldn't find a source on this anywhere, uh, so I was a bit sceptical. Um, it's like with, I, 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 like with the uh, coin mintage figures. Oh. Uh, Abolition of the slave trade there, another common coin. Um, I, I, I will take nothing as, as granted until the Royal Mint release their uh, circulating mintage figures, which is normally once a year or a couple of years after the fact um, and you, <laughs> there's an element of not even trusting it then VE Day Anniversary uh, purely because 2016's mintage figures came out with the gunpowder uh, the Great Fire of London sorry having a mintage I think it was just north of 5 million which then in subsequent years was then revised down to was it 1 point something million uh, which took it from being what should be a fairly common coin to a relatively scarce coin. So again, I'm, I'm sure there was a reason but, and rationale behind that, but uh, quite what that was, I don't know. So I, I, we get these indicative mint figures for lots of things that go into circulation. We will mint up to 5 million of this coin, up to 9.6 million of that coin. And so far they've been bang on, but I always think there's a little bit of wiggle room here that, that potentially it could end up with a lower mintage than what is initially anticipated. But uh, the definitive Atlantic Salmon 50Ps, um, I've seen the, the, the Royal Mint themselves confirm there will be 5 million mints for circulation, which means they will become fairly common. And that's not even considering future years of minting of that design, which will make it seem even more common. A bit like the 2017 Shield is a scarce coin compared to other coins, but uh, not valuable because the Shield has been minted so many years. Another wireless transmission there. And uh, see there, these sealed bags of the Atlantic Sams, they're going for mega bucks on eBay. I'm not quite sure of that smart of a purchase. I know there are some people 
where, like myself, I buy coins not to make a profit, not as an investment, just because I like having coins, I like getting new coins. Um, so there was an element of people that, that it's worth buying for them because they just want those coins, they want that sealed bag of the new coins. Another army centenary for king and country. Um, but I think if there is going to be five million of these Atlantic salmons, and then probably future years of the definitive being minted, I think the bubble on that uh, particular coin is going to burst at some point. And <laughs> I feel sorry for those who have bought it thinking it's going to be a great investment. But I guess whenever you're investing, it's always a bit of a gamble, isn't it? But uh, as long as you're happy with what you've paid for what you've got, that's what is important. The Hollow Crown. That's the correct age description on that one. And nothing else for that bag. So yes, it seems like I, uh, potentially someone has heard there will be five million minted, but half a million put out initially in circulation. A bit like Diversity Board Britain. I think they said 1.25 million would be rushed out into circulation, but there would be up to, was it five or 10 million of them minted? Um, so yes, uh, with minted figures, it's always worth taking it with a grain of salt. Everything I've said, you should take with a grain of salt as well, because I am speculating from information that's been gleaned, not official. Um, mintage figures. Now I do expect some of the 2023 definitive coins might end up being low minted, scarce and uh, desirable coins, but the next Kew Gardens I don't think they are. <laughs> but uh, we'll have to wait until final mintages come out from the Royal Mint themselves uh, and then we can actually see uh, quite how rare these new definitive coins are going to be. But uh, yes, the long and short, it seems like every denomination, whoops, other than the £2 coin, we will see in circulation from 2023. Um, but we potentially could still see the 2023 one, but who knows? Anyway, last bag of the hunt. Uh, some okay finds, nothing exceptional yet, but we've still got a few more coins to get through. As usual, there are links in the description of this video across to my coin collecting Discord server. If you'd like to come over and join that, links as well to my other social media channels, um, the PO Box stress if you want to write in to me, and a link to the Britannia Coin Company, the company I work for as my day job, so please do check them out as well. We've pulled out all the commemoratives now, all my piles seem to have fallen over in the last few moments, so I'm just going to dig through them and see if there's any key dates or areas we've missed during the hunt. Well then, we found absolutely nothing for a very, very long time, and then we have found our second era £2 coin of the year. 2010 technologies with a double die obverse. You can see the doubling of the lettering, uh, especially around the left hand side of the coin and under the Queen's portrait, the IRB as well, which is very, very cool. So, a superb find, one of our star finds, given that uh, the rest in terms of star finds are just the Shakespeare's. Uh, nothing new for the book, but again, we are so close to finishing this book, it's going to be a while <laughs> with nothing new to add to the book, but. Uh, uh, eventually we will of course find something so let me know in the comments what your favorite coin from today's video has been and all it leads me to do is thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you next time for more coins bye